Hello and welcome to day 23 of 30 days of doodles. Today we are going to do some comfort food doodles and we're going to start with mac and cheese. So we'll grab our pencil and we're going to draw a bowl. So the first thing we're going to do is just draw a horizontal line and then we'll make a half circle on the bottom side of that and then we'll add a base to it so that it's not just a wobbly bowl. So we'll put this rectangle on the bottom. From there we'll round out the top of the bowl to give it some shape and just give it the illusion that it can be filled with a substance. So we're just going to outline our bowl before we get to drawing the mac and cheese because it is pretty intricate little detail work although you don't have to make it very complicated and I will show you the shape that we're going to use and we'll just repeat that shape over and over in different angles. So now let's erase our pencil lines so that we can just have a clean fresh template before we draw these little shapes. So right here I'm just going to do these little like block letter C shapes and I'm going to add them at different angles and just kind of all over. They don't have to be touching right now. And then right here I'm just showing you the shape in a little bit bigger perspective. You don't have to draw that off to the side of yours. So I'm just going to keep adding these and I add them sporadically and then when I get to a place where I feel like I have enough we will fill in the background with just little um, arches and stuff to just fill in that background space and have it all be connected. So when I pick up my pen to go over the macaroni that's inside the bowl, I want to go over the most forward facing C shapes that we have because the whole goal of this doodle is to make it representative of mac and cheese and not just have it be a bowl of a bunch of random shapes. So we want to really pull out and distinguish some of those C shapes before we go back in and just add that filler background content to connect all of those shapes together. So pick some of your most forward facing little C shapes and go over them with your pen and then go back and connect it with little art shapes to add the lines in between and fill it all in. And then the last step would be to add that back edge around the back of your bowl and I just like to draw it in with my pencil and then I go through where the macaroni and cheese isn't and I fill that in. So in my case it was just on the edges but I do want to make sure that I have that there to give it that three-dimensional shape. And then I decided to decorate my bowl with some polka dots. You can leave yours blank or use another pattern to fill it in. Our second doodle today is going to be some fries, so we are going to start with a vertical rectangle for the carton of the fries, and then we're going to round it out and give it some shape. So first we're going to take those top corners and pull them down and in at an angle, and then we'll round out the bottom, and then we're going to put a little U shape at the top. So if you've ever ordered fries at McDonald's or Burger King or wherever you go, it typically has this little dip in the front, so we're going to replicate that. And then I'm going to use my pen and go over the carton shape that we just made before we fill it in with our fries, because again, this gets to be some pretty intricate little work right there at the top. So I just like to start with a clean template first before I go in and add my fries. So the fries, I'm just drawing these rectangles coming out and in the center they're going to be a little bit shorter and then behind they'll be a little bit taller. And I kind of add some different angles in there, not too crazy, but I do like to vary the angle a little bit just so that they aren't this very perfect straight up and down shape. It makes them more organic and more normal. And then 
I use my pencil to draw in the back edge of the carton and typically it comes up in the back so I draw that shape coming up. So now when I go over these with my pen, the one thing that I do with my pen that I didn't do with my pencil is I kind of point the very top of that rectangle so that it looks more like a shoestring fry and it has just a little bit of a point to it and I just go over my fries in the order that I drew them. So I start in the front and then work my way to the back so that the overlapping is all right and it looks normal. And then the last step like we did with the macaroni and cheese is to fill in our little edges of our container so that it looks like it's actually wrapping around the back of the fries. And so I'm just going to darken mine in with my black pen. And then again, the last option is completely optional. I'm going to add a little letter M on the front of my carton for McDonald's or you can decorate it some other way or you can leave it completely blank. So our last doodle will be a piece of pizza. So we're just going to draw a basic triangle. And then from here we're going to round it out and give it some shape. So we're going to round out that flat portion at the top and then we will add the piece of crust. So just a second arch shape right below that. And then we will add our topping. So I am just doing some round shapes for either salami or pepperoni. And then what I'm going to do inside also is I'm going to add these little mushrooms. So the mushrooms are a little oval and then a little rectangle underneath. And then these little crescent shapes would be something like onions. Feel free to decorate your pizza however you like. For the outline of my pizza, I'm going to use the small tip Faber-Castell and then for all the interior little pieces, I am going to use the extra small point just because those toppings get very small and I like to be very intricate with them and make sure that I am getting them and they don't just look like big blobs, but that's not to say that you cannot do this with just one single pen size. So go over your pizza and your toppings with a, whatever pen you are using or whatever pen you choose to use. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some little dots and some organic circle shapes to my pizza and that just gives it a little bit of added texture and makes it a little bit more realistic so I'll add some dots inside of my pepperonis and things like that. And once you've finished drawing your pizza you have completed day 23. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to come back tomorrow for day 24 as we'll have three new doodles and we are doing some movie theater style doodles. So I will see you there. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.